Hi, my name is Jill, and we read in 1st Nephi chapter 16 about Lehi being guided by the Liahona. And I have often felt very guided in my life, but I do have a question. My husband and I pray for guidance, but what happens if we get a different answer? What do I do? As a married couple, did you ever run into those issues or concerns, especially when you're traveling on a boat for almost a year? We've always agreed on everything. Everything. So, <laughs> That's not you true. Know. Well, put, well said. I love that response. I'm going to write that down. No, that, that, is, that is not true, um, for sure. She's right. And just as a metaphor, like even when it came to the idea of living on a boat, I know that feels extreme, but let's just use it as a metaphor for mm -hmm. whatever your thing is that, okay. that you're doing differently, right? The idea came to him first, and he needed it most, and then he kind of shared it with us, and I was very scared because I wouldn't even go in the deep end of the swimming pool, so it was pretty ridiculous to imagine me taking a family with six to 16-year-old children on a boat for a year. But what we did is, um, out of love for him, I said, we'll sign up and take the classes with you. And we went together, you know, he said, you won't have to go in the water. <laughs> <laughs> She's afraid of deep water. Right. So, you know. so that love kind of helped me move to that point with him. And it event we eventually became united. And that mostly had to do with me overcoming fears. But I don't think that's always how it's going to mm -hmm. turn out. Because sometimes you are getting different answers from each other. But for me, I want to um, be respectful of his agency and his personal connection with the Lord. And also honor my own. And we just kind of will try to work together and see how much we can support each other until it, and then not, we don't make a move without the sort of agreement of the other party.